Thank you. 
Thank you. 
Thank 
Amen, amen. Good morning, everyone. Please let me know if you can hear me clearly. I need you to let me know that you can hear me. Come in the comment session and let me know that you can hear me clearly. Thank you so much, intercessors. It's such a powerful morning. It's powerful intercede and listen to me. You're only going off from here. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Hope everyone is having a wonderful morning so far. We give God praise this morning for the wonderful things he is doing among us and for what he's continuing to do. We bless his holy name. For the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are saved. And we thank him this morning as we come into the altar of miracles, signs, and wonders. We give God praise for this opportunity. Give me a second. Give me a second, guys. Let me know if you guys can still hear me. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Good morning, everyone. Wake everybody up. Tell them it's time to pray. Tell them it's time to pray. It's time to pray, guys. Tell them it's time to pray. We give the Lord praise this morning. How many of you have been blessed already for those past two days? You know, the, the, the altar of miracles, signs, and wonders. We have been, we have been, um, listen, we have been so blessed. We have, we have been so blessed. Uh, we just bless the name of the Lord for the words. We bless his holy name for what he is doing among us. Because trust me, it's nothing good we could have done. It's nothing good we could have done to deserve his love and, and this gathering and we just give him praise and we just give him glory for what he is doing and for what is, he's continuing to do in our lives for the consistency so this morning we just thank god for the holy spirit we just thank god for the presence of the holy spirit we just thank god for what he's about to do in our midst this morning we thank him for his mercy we thank him for his love we thank him for his kindness in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless his holy name right now. We welcome his presence. We thank him right now. We bless his holy name. His name is forever, forever great. His name is forever righteous. There is no one like our God this morning. Let me tell you something. God is good. If you know that God is good, I want you to type it. Say God is good because, listen, I was old. Now I'm young. I have never seen the righteous forsaken, neither I have seen my seed begging bread. God is a good God. He is a great father to so many of us this morning. So all of us, he is a great father. He is a great, my God, protector. He directs our path. He keep us in his perfect will. He protect us from all danger seen and unseen. He provides for us. Please, as you guys come on, I want you guys to mute, please. As you come on, I would like for you to mute your 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 your, your Zoom, your link. Please, as you come on, guys. Please, guys, as you come on, I would like for you to mute, please. Okay, God bless you guys. Thank you so much. So we bless the name of the Lord this morning for what he is doing and for what God is getting ready to do on here. How many of you getting ready to be blessed this morning? How many of you know that God is good? Hallelujah. How many of you know that God is good, y'all? I'm telling you, God is good. Let me tell you something. Tomorrow is the 1st of December. This is another month that we are about to see. Listen, so many people did not live to see this day, I know the day is still so far from here, but we're grateful this morning because God has been so good to us. 
He has kept us in his perfect will. He has protected us. He has never leave us. Glory be to God. So this morning, I am forever grateful. I don't know about you, but I'm forever grateful this morning. Just a matter of fact that we can come here together every morning. Glory be to God. The scripture says morning by morning, new mercies I see. How many of you understand that there is new mercy on this broadcast this morning? How many of you understand that there is new mercy on this broadcast? How many of you understand that there is new mercy on the Zoom this morning? There's no distance in prayer. There is new mercy here. There is a grace here. We thank God for the grace that he has given us, the opportunity that we have. he has given us to see another day. It is a privilege, y'all. I'm telling you, it is a privilege. It is such an honor to be in the land of the living. So many people did not live to see this morning. So many people did not pass last month. So many people did not pass last few days, but we are here this morning by the grace of God. So wherever you are this morning, I just want you to take a second just to say, Lord, I thank you. Just take a few seconds, say, God, I bless your name for who you are. I glorify you. I give you the praise. I give you the glory. Just come on wherever you are this morning. It don't take you long just to say thank you. Just a prayer of gratitude. Just to let them know that, God, we are grateful this morning. I don't know about you, but I am grateful. There's no way I can proceed and go pray and go uh, uh, and go go preach, go teach this morning without telling my master thank you, without asking him to take charge, take control of God, release, oh God, your spirit, release your presence, oh God, in our midst this morning. Let your will be done, oh God, on this broadcast this morning. Let your will be done, Father God, on this Zoom this morning, oh God. As we pray together, Father, we ask for your mercy. We ask for your grace. We ask, oh God, for your peace, oh God. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we speak to this atmosphere right now. Father, everything that is not of you, Father, we erect it, we annihilate it, we destroy it from this altar, Father, this morning. We pray, oh God, that this altar will be purified. Father God, this altar will be magnified, oh God. And Father, you will be glorified this morning, Father. We know, God, in all things, oh God, we give you thanks. In all things, we give you praise. In all things, Father, we give you the glory. In all things, oh God, we give you the honor this morning, Father. So because of your grace and your mercy, Father God, we ask for the power of the Holy Spirit, oh God, to begin right now, God, to begin to sink in in this Zoom this morning, oh God. Let the power of the Holy Ghost, oh God, begin, oh God, to remove, oh God, everything that would have come to block this atmosphere, God. Every principality, every present, oh God, of demonic powers that will try oh God, to come and play and, and try to contend with the power, with the power of the Holy Spirit, with the power of the living God this morning. Father, we come against it. We destroy it. We come against every spirit of backlash, retaliation in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, right now, we ask that you will take charge of what, take control of this Zoom right now in the mighty name of Jesus as we come together. We bless your holy name. We honor you for what you are about to do, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. I want to welcome you once again to the altar of miracle signs and wonders. We thank God this morning for sweet hour of prayer. We thank God for what he is doing in our midst. Glory be to God. The Bible scripture say it is not by might, not by power, but by my spirit says God. I always tell my group, I always tell them, I say there's no way we can do this under our own strength. There's no way we can do this with our own power. But it's only the power of the Holy Spirit. It's only the power of God that can that can pump us up, that can push us to do as well, that can push us to pray like that. Because I'm telling you guys, we cannot do this on our own. So it is because of the grace of the Father that we can come here every morning and pray. Can somebody agree? Can somebody agree? Hallelujah. If you're ready to pray, say, Lord, this morning, I'm ready to pray. Say, Lord, this morning, I'm ready for a miracle. I'm ready for a sign. 
I'm ready for wonders in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless his holy name this morning. Let us begin to pray. Let us begin to uh, 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 go into the scripture. Father, this morning, God, as I touch on the scripture, I ask, oh God, that your will will be done, Father. I ask, oh God, that your spirit, your presence, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus will saturate this, this scripture, will saturate the word, oh God, and everything that's speaking here this morning, oh God, that your will, oh God, will be done, oh God, that you will take charge, take control, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for what you are already doing here, Father, and for what you are about to do, Father, in our midst this morning, oh God. We say thank you. We bless your name, Father. We are ready this morning, oh God, to receive a miracle. I'm ready, oh God, this morning as I come on this altar, oh God, to receive, oh God, some signs from you. Wonders, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your will be done this morning, oh God. Saturate this atmosphere right now of your presence. Somebody say, God, saturate the atmosphere with your presence. Come on, somebody, ask him to saturate the atmosphere with his presence. Ask him to saturate the atmosphere with his presence this morning so we can proceed this morning with the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen? So now, we're gonna we're gonna read we're gonna we're gonna do a little teaching real quick before we pray. Hallelujah! It's so crazy that I heard my auntie was praying against altars this morning, and you know, all in my spirit yesterday was to pray against altars. Was to pray against altars. Amen. Was to pray against altars, and there's so many ways that altars can come in our lives. In so many ways altars can stop our blessings. There's so many ways that altars can stop our blessings, people of God. You may ask me, how do I know that? If anybody knows the story of Gideon, you know, Gideon was rise up uh, to, to save the children of Israel. But before that, something may have taken place that I'm going to be on, on, on Judges. I'm going to be on the book of Judges chapter 6. I think it's Judges chapter 6 this morning that I'm going to be on. Uh, yeah, Judges chapter 6. We saw in Judges chapter 6 that there was a man by the name of Gideon. Gideon, but before all of this Gideon stuff happened, uh, the Bible said that the children of Israel, they would have sinned in the presence of God they would have done something in the eyes of God, and they is judges, not Joshua. They would have done something wrong in the eyes of God. And the Bible said that God has given them to the hands of the Median, and the Median were suppressing them. And, you know, there's a scripture that, that, that blows my mind. It blows my mind because um, in verse 2, it says that, And the hands of the Medians prevailed against Israel. And because of the Medianites, the children of Israel made them the dens, which are in the mountains and caves and strongholds. These are the words that I was looking for, strongholds. Glory be to God. So sometimes, glory be to God, we can create, we can create an altar that bring his strongholds into our lives. We understand that um, Gideon was visited by God. Gideon was visited by a, an angel on how God was about to save the children of Israel from the hands of the Midians. But there was something there. They was living in strongholds. They had something, they was living in a curse. The reason why they was living in a curse is because they have opened the door to sin. They have opened the door to iniquity to cause them to live in a place of strongholds, to cause them to live in a place of sin, to cause them to live in a place of bondage, to cause them to live in a place of stagnation, of delay, of setback. Glory be to God. And you saw that the scriptures say, because Israel, because the Midianites, the children of Israel, made them the dens which are in the mountains and in the caves and strongholds. And it was when Israel had sown the Midianites came up 
and the Amalekites and the children of the east, even when they come up against them, and they encamp against and destroy the increase of the earth. Listen to me. There are so many of us this morning. I come to say something here this morning that is so important. Can I tell you the reason why you have not seen the blessing yet? It can be a stronghold in your life for a door that you may have opened or a door that any of you may have opened on your life. You think, you know, it's God that not going to bless you. It's God that, that don't want to do anything for you. It's God that don't want to help you. But the reality is, my God, the reality is you may have been uh, uh, dealing with a stronghold in your life. You may have been dealing with something in your life that's causing your life to have stagnation, that causing your life to have delay. So this morning, we're going to erect the altars of strongholds this morning. We're going to erect the altars of delays. Hallelujah. Those altars that has been holding us back into our success. Those altars that has been holding us back from our progress. This morning, we're going to speak against those altars. We saw that in the scriptures further along, it's going, it's going to say that the angel of the Lord visited Gideon, and the angel of the Lord began to tell Gideon why, uh, um, how you are a mighty man. I'm going to save you. I'm going to do something for the children of Israel. I'm going to save them out of the hands of the Midian. And the, the same scripture in that same text, we saw that God came back in the night to, uh, to Gideon in a vision. And God told Gideon, so go and destroy the altars of the Midianites, the altars, that's the altar of Baal, that's the altars of witchcraft, that's the altars of strongholds, that's the altars of sin, because there was sin in the land, there was sin in the place, so before God had to build his altar, there had to be a cleansing, how many of us understand that this morning, before God has to build us an altar of righteousness, before God has to build us an altar, huh? an altar of success, there must be a cleansing, huh? in that altar of dirtiness, huh? There must be a cleansing uh, in the altar of filthiness this morning. Uh, there must be a cleansing, glory be to God. So this morning, we're going to deal with two things here. Uh, we're going to deal with the evil altar uh, because it's obvious that some of us, uh, we were called to be blessed. Uh, some of us, we were called to have so much in life. Uh, but when we look at our life uh, for where we should have been, we are not there yet. We're not even close to where we're supposed to be uh, and sometimes we wonder why is that we are not in the place we were supposed to be as yet. That's because sometimes it's not God that don't wants to bless you, but it's something in your life that gives the enemy access to my God to torment you. It is an evidence until you close that door and you saw that God said to Gideon, go and destroy the altars of the Midianites. Destroy the altars of Baal, my God, how many of you this morning, there must be an altar in your life that's hindering your blessing, there must be an altar in your life this morning that's stopping you from being blessed, but this morning, glory be to God, we've come to deal with this altar, am I helping you? We've come to deal with the altar. And in verse 11, it says, And there came an angel of the Lord and sat under an oak which was in opera, and pertained unto Joash the Ephesorite, and his son Gideon stretched wheat by the wind's press to hide it from the Midianites. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him and said unto him, The Lord is with thee, thou mighty man of valor. And Gideon said unto him, O oh, my Lord, if the Lord be with us, why then is all this befalling us? Now listen to me here. Not because God is with you means that bad things is not going to happen to you. And you see that Gideon begin to question God and say, why is all this is taking place in our lives? But what Gideon didn't understand in this generation, it may not have been a generation that sinned. 
but the fathers that were there before Gideon, they did some things that caused the Lord to would have a, a curse on the Israelites uh, to give them into the hands of the enemy uh, that begins a stronghold to them. And sometimes uh, we think that the simplest thing that it's mean nothing, uh, but it can create an altar for my God, uh, an altar to mess us up, an altar to destroy us, an altar to dismantle our life, an altar to stop our, our progress. Am I happy to hear? And Gideon said, oh, my Lord, if the Lord be with us, why did all of this be falling us? And when be all its miracle, which our fathers stole us of, saying, did not the Lord bring us up from Egypt, but now the Lord hath forsaken us. Before there's a forsaken, there must be a reason. Because the Bible says, I've never seen the righteous forsaken. In other words, if you're not righteous, you will be forsaken. Because I've never seen the righteous forsaken. He did not say, I never see human being forsaken. But he said, I've never seen the righteous forsaken. Neither have I seen them begging for bread. See, so there's a difference there. If you do not live a life of righteousness, you can be forsaken from God. Anyone that is not for God is an enemy of God. It's not me that's saying it in the scriptures. That's the word of the living God. If you're not for God, you become an instant enemy, an immediate enemy to God. So you saw that Gideon say, why all of these things is happening? It's because there was sin in the land. And the God, my God, the same people that did not serve God. Can you imagine how God has saved you, God has taken you and cleansed you and washed you and purged you and taken you from a place where you was in bondage, taken you from a place where you was in, in my God, where you was in chain, where, where life was a living hell for you. And God take you uh, and bring you up. Uh, and you went back down uh, to do the same thing you was doing. Uh, that's something, for example, uh, you have a child. You have a child. You give this child everything that this child needs. Uh, but next thing you look on the television, uh, your child faces on the news uh, for robbery. They never had no money problem. Uh, they never had no clothing problem. Uh, they never had no living problem. Uh, but for some reason, their behavior has caused you to look like a parent that never provides for your kids. Uh, and my God, uh, and this is for the same thing uh, what happened here with the Israelites. Uh, they act as if God uh, never provided for them. Uh, you see in the wilderness that God uh, brought heaven uh, down for those people uh, where he read bread from heaven for 40 years. For 40 years, and their shoes, the shoes on their on the on their feet, the clothes on their back, it never get wrinkled. Why? Because God wanted to make sure that they have the best. If you read the scriptures, Egypt, there was a land, a particular land in Egypt by the land it names Goshen. Goshen name a land of plenty. This land where that's where the Israelite dwells. How did the Israelite even get there? The Bible said when Joseph, when Joseph was in Egypt, as Joseph took charge in Egypt as he was a leader, Joseph requested from the king to have his family to come in Egypt. And the king of Egypt told Joseph to take the best of land to have the Israelites, to have his family live there. And that's where the Israelite comes. That's where the, the nation begins to arise in a land of plenty. Can you imagine that? When the plagues was going on in Egypt, nothing is, is Goshen is still in the land of Egypt, but nothing happened because God wanted to make sure that they have the best. How many of us when that God has been making sure we have the best, but for some reason, our nature still messing with us. Our sin 
It's something that we love so much, we don't want to let it go. And every time we're in a place of success, every time we're in a place of plenty, all of a sudden, we drop instantly. Why? Because there's an altar that needs to be erected. Say, Lord, erect my altar this morning. It's an altar that needs to be removed from our lives. And you saw that the children of Israel, they had everything that they needed. Even from the beginning, God told Abraham, I will make you a great nation. Abraham did not understand. We saw that glory be to God, his wife deceived him because he did not believe in the word of the Lord. He believed the word, but his wife, her patient caused sin to enter because sometimes glory be to God, we cause this for us on our own self. Can I help you with I want to help you. It's a dangerous thing when we think it's God that do not want to bless us. According to the scripture, Psalm 24 says, The earth is the Lord's and the fullness, and the fullness thereof. If the earth belongs to the Lord, he put us on the earth, it's to replenish. He put us on the earth, it's to be fruitful. It's to multiply. How is that someone who wants us to be multiplied? How is that someone who wants us to be blessed also wants to curse us? Sometimes it takes our decision that will cause us to be a curse. And how, what am I saying this morning? Huh? Sometimes you blame in God. You blame in the people that is around you. You blame in the job. You blame in everybody else, but blame in ourselves. Sometimes we have to look at ourselves and say, God, what is it that am I doing wrong? What is that I cannot see her? My blessing come yet. Her. What is, is it because God, her, I'm not in line with you. Her. Maybe it's because something, her, something is causing that. Her. Just like Gideon says, her, why is this thing is happening? Her? And God taking back in the dream. Her. God said, there is something there. Her. There is something that I need to deal with her. Can I deal with you this morning? We must deal with ourselves. Say, Lord, help me to deal with myself. Hallelujah. Say, Lord, help me to deal with myself. Come on, say, Lord, help me to deal with myself this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Help me to deal with myself. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, My God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to read from verse 25 say, And it came to pass the same night that the Lord said unto him, take thy father's young bullock, even the second bullock of seven years old, and throw down the altar of Baal that thy father had and cut down. Now thy father had, it was not Gideon, but it's the altar of his fathers. When he say father, that means uh, those that were here before her. He means the people of the old time, my God. And some of you, you know that your parents deals with witchcraft. You know that your parents work with voodoo, with obey, with foolishness. But we, we ignore these altars until we can do a cleansing into our life and say, God, I'm not going to be a part of this. I know it's in my bloodline. I know God, I, 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 my family deal with it, but God, I do not want to deal with it. And as you see that the Lord showed Gideon 
on how to deal with this situation. The Lord tell him, offer a sacrifice. And when you offer a sacrifice, yes, you may not understand what it is to do witchcraft, but I'm telling you, if it is in our bloodline, it is important that we renounce those things because those same things can stop us from progressing. Those same, same things can stop us from delay, from moving forward because they still in our blood. Line. Am I happening? And that the Lord said unto him, Take thy father's young bullock, even the second bullock of seven years old, and threw down the altar of Baal that thy father had, and cut down the ground that is by it, and build an altar unto the Lord thy God. What am I saying this morning? You cannot serve to God. You have to choose an altar. Is it going to be the altar of filthiness or the altar of righteousness? I choose the altar of righteousness because in him I live, in him I move, and in I have my beings. There is nothing that the devil can give me. The Bible says, according to Romans chapter 8 and 31 says, what can separate us from the love of God? Anything today that has separated us from the love of God, anything this morning that has separated us from the things of God, it has become an altar. This morning as we pray, I want you to say, God, I need that altar, the altar that separated me, the altar that causes you, God, to turn away from me. Father, I need you to erect this altar. I need you to destroy this altar this morning, God. I do not want to deal with this altar anymore. The altars are set by God. If there's something with me, Father, that needs to be cleansing, God, I come before you this morning. I need it, Father, to be erected. I need, oh God, if it is in my bloodline, God, if it is from my mother's side, if it is from my father's side, God, I want to deal with it, God, because I do not want to walk in the new year, Father, the same way. I do not want to walk in the year of 2023. Oh God, still dealing with the same thing. But this morning, God, I want to deal with this altar. This morning, God, so whatever altar that is in my life, any altar of open door, any altar of bar that will cause your presence not to locate me, that will cause your angels to stay away from me, that will cause the presence, your spirit of God, to stay away from me this morning, God. I pray, Father, under this altar, God, this altar of signs, this altar of miracles, this altar of wonders this morning, God. Destroy the altar in my life, God, that was messing me up, God. The altars of God, sometimes it can be my way sometime, oh God. It has become an altar. It can be my habit sometime. It has become an altar because it grieves the Holy Spirit. Because God, if I can see my wrong, then God, I will never see anybody else this, oh God. If I cannot see my wrong, I can never change, God. I may try to see everybody else's wrong. I may try to believe everybody else's on my downfall. But God, there's a reason, oh God. Our self needs to be searched this morning, God. This morning, search us, oh God. Search our heart this morning on this altar, God. This altar of miracle. This altar of science and wonders this morning, God. Let your will be done, Father God. Search us, oh God. Remove every evil altar, God. This morning, as we come to make sacrifice to you, God. A sacrifice of thanksgiving. A sacrifice of righteousness. A sacrifice of holiness, oh God, we come before you this morning, oh God. Remove the altars of gossip. Remove the gossip, oh God, the altars of lies. Remove the God, 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 oh God, the altars of fornication, the altars of adultery, the altars of lies and deceit, the altars of stealing, the altars of witchcraft, voodoo workers. Father, some of us, we are connected to some people that are not doing us any good. Father, search us and remove, oh God, 
our evil artists, oh God, any evil artist that is in our lives this morning. Father, we pray for your grace and your mercy this morning. Have mercy on our lives this morning, Father God. Have mercy, oh God, just as you saw Gideon. Father God, you told him, you gave him instruction, God. Father, may your Holy Spirit this morning, Father, give us instruction, oh God, on how to put down some of those altars, uh, to put down these evil altars, oh God, uh, that stopping us sometime, oh God, uh, whatever causes sickness in our body, uh, can be some type of altar, oh God, uh, some altar we created, uh, some of us, oh God, we created our own demon, uh, we created our own monster, but God, we blame everybody else, but God, we don't want to blame ourselves, but this morning, Father, we take the stand to blame ourselves for certain things we may have done this morning, oh God, search us, oh God, mold us, oh God, see, oh God, whatever is in us that is not of you, oh God, that has caused an altar of separation between you, God, I pray this morning, oh God, Every mountain of God, every evil mountain of God that is standing on our way, every evil mountain by way of evidence, by way of God of giving them access, God. I remove them this morning, Father God, under your blood, Father. I bleed your blood over every evil altar of God, along with my faith of repentance, along with my faith of agreement, God. I destroy these altars over my life, uh, Father, because I know, God, without the altars, uh, oh, God, without these altars being dealt with, uh, that the altars of righteousness uh, will not locate me. Uh, so this morning, Father God, uh, let the altars of righteousness locate me. Uh, let the altars of God, uh, oh, that is not of you, oh, God, uh, the altars that we have been created, uh, Father God, as we pray against altars, uh, Father, we are an altar of righteousness, uh, we are an altar of miracle. We are an altar of signs. We are an altar of wonders, oh God. So, Father, before we see wonders happen, oh God, there are things that we are dealing with that needs to be dealt with. So this morning on this broadcast, Father God, whatever that we need to deal with, whatever that has been stopping us, God, whatever that has been playing with our mind, whatever that has, my God, that has been separating us, oh God, whatever that has been taking our time, that becomes an altar for us. Father God, we move it today, God. Let this day be a day, oh God, that of visitation, oh God. A day, oh God, we will surrender to you. A day, oh God, we give our all to you, God. A day this morning, Father, in the name of Jesus, that we will give our all to you, God. We will surrender our life to you, not no lukewarm, God. Because if we are lukewarm, Father, you will spit us out. It's either we are hot or we cold, Father God. This morning we choose the fire. We choose to be hot, no God. We choose, oh God, this morning huh, to be hot this morning. Huh. We choose, oh God, to walk in your will huh, just as Gideon went, oh God, huh, and destroyed those altars. Huh. This morning, every stronghold huh, that is in our lives, oh God, huh, we destroy every stronghold, huh, every valley, oh God, huh, that has been holding us, oh God, down. Huh, the valley, oh God, we walked in huh, this morning, oh God, huh, we command the valley, huh, to bow before us. We command the mountain to bow before us, oh God. We have made the decision today. We have chose the altar of righteousness. Somebody say altar of righteousness. I choose the altar of God. I don't want to serve Baal. I don't want to serve no witch doctors. I don't want to serve money. I don't want to serve my job. I don't want to save, um, serve social media. I don't want to serve my own self. I don't want to be idolizing anything else. But the altars of God, Father, this morning, Lord, in the name of Jesus, let the altars of my God, oh, Father, overtake every altar that is not of you. We break them down this morning, God. 
we break and dismantle every altar, every altar, oh God, that is not of you into our lives this morning, Father. Let your will be done on earth, oh God, so as it is in heaven this morning, oh God. Oh, Father, this morning, oh God, let us see evidence of your glory. Let us see evidence of your goodness. Let us see evidence, oh God, of your hands over our lives, because many of us, Father God, we do not understand the importance of God of closing doors and Father, this morning, oh God, every door in our lives that is not of you, God, we pray this morning, oh God, those doors will be closed. We will go into this day, oh God, let conviction, oh God, let your Holy Spirit begin to convict us. Let your Holy Spirit begin to speak to us. Because God, we want to walk in the new year. We want to see manifestation. We want to see your blessing. We want to see your glory. We want to see your hands over our lives. But God, there are so many things we have to deal with her on a daily basis, oh God. There are so many things we have to turn away from her. So, Father, this morning, allow us, oh God. Hallelujah. Help us, oh God, to turn away from those wicked altars this morning, huh? because God, they are not doing us any good. We saw that the Lord told Gideon, cut down the grove that is by it, build an altar unto the Lord thy God up on the top of this rock in the other place and take the second bullock and offer a burnt sacrifice with the wood of the grove, which thou shalt cut down. Then Gideon took ten men of his servant, and did as the Lord had said unto him. Some of what the Lord is saying to us, uh, give up some things this morning. Uh, how many of us, we want glory be to God. Uh, we want God to bless us. Uh, we want all the blessings from God. Uh, but we do not want to give away some altars. Uh, we do not want to get rid of some things. Uh, but this morning, I come by to let somebody know, uh, unless we are cleansed ourselves, uh, unless we purify ourselves, uh, unless we mold ourselves, uh, unless we search ourselves, uh, sometimes it's almost impossible uh, to crack to the place uh, that we need to crack down to. Uh, we can't get to the place we want to go uh, unless we give up some things. So this morning, say, Lord, I give up every evil heart. Say, Lord, in the name of Jesus, I give up every evil altar this morning. I know God, I've done some things I should have not done. I've said some things, God, I should have not said. God, I've been dealing with some stuff I should have not dealt with, God. But this morning, God, under this anointing, under this, oh God, under this altar, God, I turn, oh God, to this altar, God. I come before you this morning, Father God. I give up everything else, oh God. Father, may you, oh God, unlock, oh God, unlock my destiny, God. I'm ready to walk in my destiny. I'm walking, I'm ready to walk in favor as this new year coming, in, oh God. I'm ready, oh God, to see your hands on my life. Oh God, so this morning, what I have to deal with, God, I give it to you, Father. I know it has been the open door that has been causing me, oh God, so much. I know it has been the open door that has causing me to not receive. But God, this morning, I deal with this altar. Deal with it. Deal with it this morning. Deal with this altar this morning. Begin to deal with it. Begin to deal with it now. Say, in the name of Jesus, I renounce every evil altar. Say, in the name of Jesus, I let go of every evil altar. I don't have the point blank what, what, what you're dealing with. You know what you're dealing with this morning. Say, in the name of Jesus, I let go of every altar. 
I let go of every altar that is not of God, my God ordained. Every altar that God did not create it in my life. Every altar that God did not put in my life, I renounce it. I let it go this morning because I'm ready to walk in my altar of righteousness. I'm ready to walk in the altars of favor. I'm ready to walk in the altars of manifestation. So this morning, I renounce every evil altar in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to renounce. Begin to renounce this morning. Begin to renounce on this altar this morning. Begin to renounce. Say, God, I let it go. I let go of every evil altar this morning. Come on, mean it. Mean it this morning. Say, God, I let go of every altar. Every altar that would have cost me. Every altar that would have cost me, Lord. I let go of it this morning, Father. I renounce this morning. I let go of every evil altar out of my life this morning. Because, God, I'm trying to get my blessing. I'm trying to receive your favor. I'm trying to walk in your will, God. I'm trying to walk in my calling. I'm trying to walk in my assignment. I'm trying to walk in what you are calling me to do. But God, if all these doors are opening, Father, there's nothing I can do. So this morning, I come on this altar, the altar of miracles, the altar of signs, the altar of wonders, oh God. I need a miracle, God. Sometimes not a physical miracle, but sometimes you need a miracle with an encounter from God. Give him a, an encounter, God. Give us an encounter this morning, huh? an encounter that will change everything, huh? an encounter that will change our perspective, huh? an encounter that will change our mindset, huh? an encounter that will change our lives this morning. Huh? Father God, I release so God huh? the anointing over this broadcast. Huh? I release the anointing over this prayer line this morning. Huh? I release the power. Huh? Let the power of the Holy Ghost. Oh, so God, uh, be released over them this morning, oh God. Uh, cleansing, oh God. Let there be a cleansing. Uh, let there be a cleansing as we renounce, oh God, uh, every evil altar in our lives. Uh, the witchcraft of my mother will not follow me. Uh, the witchcraft of my father will not follow me. Uh, the witchcraft of my bloodline will not follow me. Uh, I renounce it this morning. Uh, I renounce and I leave it alone. Uh, even if I think about it, uh, I want it to be out of my mind. Even if I think about what they do, that means I'm still connected. But this morning, I want to forget that they even existed. I don't want to never think about it because, God, I'm ready to walk in my new altar. And, God, because I'm breaking it down, you're going to build the altar of righteousness. I'm going to answer, God. I'm going to see your hands. I'm going to see your glory. I'm going to see your protection. I'm going to see your favor because I've renounced the altars. I've renounced those evil altars this morning, Father. Let your will be done. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Renounce. Say, Lord, I let them go. Say, God, I let them go. Say, God, I let them go. See, God, I let them go. I let those altars go. I let them go this morning, oh God. I don't want to deal with them anymore. I don't want them in my life anymore. I don't want to have to deal with those altars anymore. I let them go. Come on, let them go. Let them go this morning. Let those altars go. Let them go out of your life. You were supposed to be walking in your season of blessing. We don't want the same thing be repeating itself. We want to let those altars go this morning. Let them go out of your life. That thing which you love so much, you know that's messing you up. You know it causing you pain. It causing you sickness. It causing you backwardness. It causing you delays. It causing you so much stagnation. Let it go this morning. Let that evil altar go. Let that evil altar go. It's a reason why you've been trying to do something with yourself. 
and everything keep going backwards. Sometimes we blame everything around us, but searching ourselves. This morning is time we let go. And Gideon begins to ask question, ask question on why is that everything is happening to us like that? But you say that I am a mighty man. And the same God says to him, whatever the sin of your forefathers, the sin that they had created, they were the reason why that the Midianites was eaten over you. The Midianites was taking control over you. The Midianites was abusing you because of your forefathers. Some of you, it's not because God allowed the enemy to destroy you, to destroy you, to distract you, to dismantle certain things in your life, but it is because of the door that is open. So this morning, ask the Holy Spirit, say, God, whatever, whatever altar that I've been dealing with, but I know it's the altar, but I don't want to let go. This morning, I let it go because I want to walk in my season of Gideon. I want to walk in my season where I went every battle. It goes, I always say this, you can't be praying against the devil every day, but you have been given the enemy access. How do you pray against someone and you still give them access to your life? What good does that have? What does, what good? What good is it does? You pray against something, but yet, you still go back and deal with the same thing over and over. The same thing you pray against, you still go back. This morning, say this prayer, say, Lord, now that I have renounced every evil altar, I welcome you. Build your altar in my life. Fill your altar in my life this morning. Now that I've renounced every evil altar that I've dealt with, knowingly and knowingly, this morning, God, I give you my law, my life. I give you my heart. I give you all this morning. Deal with me, God. Build your altar in my life. The altar of righteousness. The altar of holiness. The altar of favor the altar of manifestation, the altar of grace, the altar of glory, build them into my life, the altar of humility, the altar of love, the altar of miracles, the altar of signs, the altar of wonder. So God, build them into my life because God, I want them to be in my life. I thank you. How many of you believe this prayer? If you believe this prayer, say amen. Say, Lord, I receive it. I receive it. The Lord tell me I have to do this every day after I finish praying. If you don't know the Lord as your Lord and personal Savior, if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior this morning, for those that probably are watching, if you're watching on YouTube, we actually live on YouTube also. If you're watching from YouTube, or you're going to be watching this often, wherever you are watching from, if you do not know the Lord as your personal Savior, just say this prayer after me. Say, dear God, I know I'm a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe Jesus Christ is your son. I believe that he died for my sin and that you raised him to life. I want to trust him as my savior and follow him as Lord. From this day forward, guide my life and help me to do your will. I pray this prayer in Jesus' mighty name. If you pray this prayer and believe by faith you are saved, you are now welcome to the family of God. You are now welcome being a son this morning. We thank God this morning in the mighty name of Jesus for what he is doing and for what he is about to do. And if you would like to be a blessing to this ministry, 
you can go ahead and be a blessing to the ministry. We don't ask for seed. We don't ask for tithing. It's at your own risk. If you know that the Lord has been good to you, if you know that the Lord has blessed you, you can be a blessing. You want to be a blessing to the ministry? Be a blessing to the ministry. We pray this altar. This altar will bring favor to your life. This altar will bring, bring blessing. This altar will bring so much to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we believe as we pray that we don't do the work, but the Father himself, the work of the Holy Spirit, his power, his glory, forever and ever. We believe that his angels, his angels will go on our behalf. We believe that he will ascend them on our behalf this morning. We believe that as we pray with all our hearts, our mind, body, and soul, we believe that God is going to do great things in our lives. We believe that God is going to do wonders in our lives. We believe that God is going to allow his glory to manifest in our lives. Our children, everything that connected to us, we believe that God is going to do great wonders. So for those of you who believe, I just want you to say, I believe. Wherever you are this morning, just say, I believe. Because the Bible already reminds us, if we can come together in agreement, in agreement, let me tell you something. I believe this morning. I believe this morning that the hand of the Lord is upon us. I believe this morning the Lord of God Almighty is going to do great things into our lives this morning. I believe this morning our sacrifice will not be in vain. I believe that the hand of the Lord is upon us. I believe that the blessing of the Lord will make it rich and it will add no sorrow this morning. So we believe in God. Hallelujah. How many of you believe this morning? How many of you believe this morning? If you believe, say hallelujah. Wherever you are this morning, say hallelujah. So I thank God for all of you. I thank God for all of you. Don't forget to invite somebody tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning is our last day for the weekend. We pray only from Monday to Thursday every week until um, before Christmas. We're going to be praying in the morning. I don't know how the Lord is going to shift the schedule for next year, but for now, it's morning prayer. We've been going at it for many years now, midnight, but the Lord has laid this in my spirit to go and take another route. So we bless the name of the Lord for that. So those morning prayers, this altar, that the revelation that he has given me, the altar of miracles, signs, and wonders, we bless his holy name this morning for what he's doing. And we, we may the Lord go before you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. Intercessors, you can come. If anybody has a prayer request, please, you can email the email, uh, sweet hour of prayer, ministry, uh, m, sweet hour of prayer, m, at gmail.com. You can, you can, you can, you can email. Email us our, your prayer requests. We promise we will get to the emails. We will pray for you. Whatever request that you have, whatever request that you have, please email the email. I think somebody should put the email right now on um in the chat. Uh, Nessa, probably already put the email in the chat. So if you have any prayer requests, if you have any prayer requests, please. Email it to me. Don't type it here. Uh, I'm not going to see it because I'm not going to be um, on the chat like that. So uh, just make sure you email it to us. Then I will check the emails. Then we will continue to pray for you guys. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. I want to thank all of those who have been connected from day one. And continue to invite people, guys. Continue to invite people. Continue to be a blessing. You know, I... I rather not have money, but I see people come to pray. I, I, I rather see people come to pray. I, I rather see people have a relationship. I, 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 I rather see people into prayer because prayer, prayer is very important to all of us, especially in this kind of time that's coming right now. We need God like never before. So may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you intercessors. You can come and close us. God bless everyone.
Yeah. Heavenly God, as we come before you this morning, once more, we give you honor, we give you praise, and we give you glory. Lord, we thank you for the man of God this morning, Lord God. I see empty unto us this morning, Lord. We ask that you fill them up with your Holy Ghost and fire. You will continue to be them for this journey, Lord God. Oh, Father God, we thank you because all are broken this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father God, we thank you because you are breaking altars for my mother and our father's family over us, over our children, our families, over our loved ones this morning, over the sweet hour of family this morning, Lord God. Oh, Father God, we ask that you will touch your delivered resource, Lord God. Father God, help us to remain in your presence, Lord God. Father God, we thank you and we bless your holy name, Lord God. Every altar this morning, Lord God. Altars of vision, jealousy among us right now. Altars of unforgiveness, Lord God. We destroyed her by force and fire, Lord God. We thank you because all the blood breaks and broken this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, as we leave this place, Lord God, let us not leave your presence, Lord God. Father God, let peace, love, and unity reign among us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us to remain close to you, Lord. Because for it away from you, because they're eternal in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we'll continue to put the words in our mouth today that we may speak for you in a season and out of season, Lord God. Give us the knowledge and understanding not only of this world, but of you, Lord God. Give us the passion and desire to want to know about you more, Lord God. Give us the passion and desire to stay on the Lord and pray without ceasing, Father. Because you say the firm and effectual prayer of the righteous of the innocent heart. Lord, you say no weapon the enemy formed against us was prosper in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And every tongue that rises against us in judgment, they shall be condemned. Because we are your heritage, Lord. We pray for those that will hear this this morning, Lord God. We pray for those that will hear this morning. Lord, Lord, we ask that you will touch them with your star hands in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we bless your holy name and we magnify your name on high. We give you all honor, we give you all praise, and we give you all glory. It's not about us, but it's about you, Lord God. Oh, Father God, if there be any spirit contending with us, Lord, that don't want us to serve you in spirit and in truth, Lord God, that don't want, Father God, for our altars of righteousness to erect the smutty, Lord. We send the fire of the Holy Ghost to destroy them. We sever the time. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we disconnect Amen. them from our lives, Lord God, because we want to serve you in spirit and in truth, Lord God. Father God, we ask that you seal this request with the blood of Jesus Christ. And Father God, as this request goes to your throne, we thank you for a swift manifestation. We destroy the, prin- the plants of the Prince of Persia from intercepting this request in the mighty name of Jesus. I dispatch angels go before us today. I dispatch angels behind us, all around us, ring of angels in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I cancel dead, premature dead, and timely dead sudden death, freak incidents this morning, Lord God, accidents this morning, Lord God, we shall live and we shall not die in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We break coffins this morning in the realm of the spirit. There are some coffins that have been erected for us, for our family, our children, and our loved ones, for our marriages this morning, Lord God, our spouses, Father, we break them in the realm of the spirit and let it manifest in the natural and in the supernatural, Lord, we thank you, Father. Altars are broken this morning in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Blessings. Amen. See y'all. Blessings. See y'all in the morning. Intercessors. See y'all later. Love you guys. Take care. Have a blessed day. Be safe.